Hey guys, Mars Singh here bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video and so today we are going to be taking a look at the EZA for Tech Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, the OG category lead, the OG fusions leader, uh, obviously full level 10 links, rainbow, haven't given him any skill orbs yet, um, I like to play test with some of the EZAs first, um, obviously some of them it's pretty obvious what you should do with their uh, hidden potential stuff when it comes to skill orbs and things like that but I hadn't put any in him before he got his EZA, so we still need to uh, play around with that. So he has a fusion leader skill of 170 across the board. So aside from obviously the LR Super Saiyan 4s having fused fighter, which is going to cover all fusion and Patara units, and then give that extra 30% for Kamehameha, he obviously is the best just straight up fusion leader. Um, he also has the tech types 100% as a sub lead. Uh, his super attack, he greatly raises second defense for one turn, does immense damage. And then he gets extreme class enemies, attack and defense minus 20%, attack and defense 150, high chance of attacks as being effective against all types. He gets an additional attack and defense 25% up to 50 for 5 turns with each super attack performed. And then great chance of evading enemy super attacks and countering with tremendous power. So obviously that is a 70% chance to counter. So it's a bit annoying that he has high chance of attacks effective against all types, but he didn't have any way to get that at all before so i guess it's a nice little thing to be added on and then the enemy debuffing is always good for super battle road but yeah that 70 percent chance to counter supers is where he's gonna look really good so he shares five links with the lr super saiyan 4s because once we get the key then obviously kamehameha uh, activates as well so decent link set with the super saiyan 4s so let's go ahead and do this uh we can't get a lot of key for the last ones but we probably take care of them here anyway so turn one 4.5 with no support not bad um i'm interested to see once he's actually like built up and we've got support on rotation what he's looking like in terms of the damage that he takes because uh he definitely can be uh looking pretty good on this team now the only downside to this gogia and i feel like we've talked about already how the lr super saiyan 4's team gets a lot better as the anniversary goes on because obviously we don't yet have the easy A's for Super Saiyan 4, like the LR Super Saiyan 4s, who of course we have here on rotation. Um, we don't have their easy A's yet. And when we get his easy A and the Vegeta one as well, obviously, the team becomes much, much better. And one of the main reasons is obviously the LR Super Saiyan 4s have both Legendary Power and Saiyan Raw, which are both very good attack links to share with the LR Super Saiyan 4s, the physical new one, right? It's always annoying when you say LR Super Saiyan 4s, because the two standalone ones are LR Super Saiyan 4s as well. But the anniversary LR Super Saiyan 4s, um, and you know, that gives them a lot of extra attack power. So by running Tech Gogeta on main rotation with them, it means you're missing out on them getting Saiyan Raw, which is a huge amount of extra attack. Uh, shout out to AGL Gotenks for tanking that for double digits as well, by the way. He's getting this extra support from Weerus, but that is still uh, actually pretty solid. So, fortunately, Weerus took him out here so we can get a proper look at this next rotation. Now, ideally, I want to see Gogeta counter a super in this video. But now that we've got some support, let's see what his start of turn defense. 219k is that, 220 basically. So, that means he's not really the most ideal slot one unit. But obviously, like, on turn one, you can just put the Super Saiyan 4s in slot one because they have guard. And then as the event goes on, they're building up their defense and you can obviously put them in slot one. So he's still taking double digit damage at this stage. Hopefully we get supers. See, now we're up to 6.3 um, with the support and that extra bump from his passive ability. So crit for 4.9. Unfortunately, was he? I didn't see whether the arrow was pointing up. I don't know whether he got the super effective off that time or not. But I mean, if you get a crit, you're doing a lot of extra damage anyway. But... I think the Super Saiyan 4s, yeah, I was going to say. Probably just wipe this guy off the map at this point. So, <laughs> Alright, so we'll go ahead and do this. Uh, we won't transform the uh, Super Saiyan 4s just yet. But let's go ahead and do this. And then we can grab these for you. At least Goku gets defense on his 12 key. Because that's the only downside to using these units on the team before they actually do get their easy A's, the LR Super Saiyan 4s. It's the fact that like Vegeta doesn't raise his defense unless you get his 18 key super. So if you want to use him on the team now before he gets his easy A and you can't get that 18 key, 
then he is potentially going to take a lot of damage, especially if you're taking this team into the red zone stage. Funnily enough, when we did one of the red zone stages earlier today on stream, I was going to use the fusion team until I started trying to put it together. And when you look at the list of like the units that are available for the Super Saiyan 4's team at the moment, that are really in that like upper tier that could hang in the red zone. There's honestly not that many, um, or at least not that many that go well with the Super Saiyan 4's. Because you've got units like the Tech uh, LR Gogeta, who can still be quite good in the red zone. Uh, Vegito, of course, a bit outdated now at this point when it comes to red zone fights. But those units don't obviously link up super well with the Super Saiyan 4s. You really want to be getting, like, Saiyan Raw and stuff like that, right? So we're going to take the risk that we can get the super here. We, are, we should have our passive fully built up now, right? Because we... Uh, yeah, we got two supers, so his passive is built up here. Um, he's a good 235, and then when we get the orbs with um, Weirus, that's obviously going to put him up even more. So, unfortunately, we won't be able to see that buff like on the screen because it gets added in afterwards. But we'll see his numbers go up at the bottom here. So hopefully we can see it. Yeah, we go, as I was going to say. Look at this, man. I've always loved this. Even though it's very basic, I love this animation. Just that kick. Just yeet, get out of here. So we get the super counter. And then we still take double digit damage from normal attacks. And then 7.6 mil. Arrow point up. Uh, well, we got a crit. So I guess we don't see it. And then we got the additional as well. And then he jumps up. Because remember, he greatly raises attack and defense on super. So his defense at this point is well over like 400k. We countered the super, which was basically the only de attack that was going to deal any damage to us. So that is definitely a very, very impressive turn from uh, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta there. I've, a lot of these units, I talked about it in the God Goku EZA video, but a lot of these units I haven't taken into the red zone yet because I wanted to do solo showcases for them. Although, I'm probably not going to do one for Omega, because I used the full Shadow Dragons team to do the GT Bosses uh, Legendary Goku event mission, which has already gone up on the channel. So obviously, if you want to see what Omega Shenron looks like post EZA, you can obviously check out that video if you haven't already. Because um, remember, Omega Shenron doesn't have like a 200% lead or anything at the moment. So, uh, we'll go ahead and do this. We might actually get done in this turn depending on whether he super attacks uh, Super Saiyan 4 Goku and whether he counters or not. Because um, the Super Saiyan 4s, they've supered a few times up to this point. So yeah, I was going to say we won't get one shot but we will take quite a bit of damage from the super attack. But we will deal quite a lot of damage on the way back here as well. Um, obviously the other thing that Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta get, the separate ones when they easy A, is they get the extra key per um, type orb as well as the rainbow orbs. So it makes it a lot easier to get their uh, 18 key supers. Does God Goku, will he, uh, Super Saiyan 4 Goku, will he still take double digit damage from this physical Goku, uh, Vegeta? Oh my god, names. Super Saiyan 4 Goku, okay he does take double digit damage from Vegeta, there we go. So even pre EZA, like Super Saiyan 4 Goku's defense is good on this team. Because remember, he is getting the 200% leader skill. So now we have the 40% uh, time limit support from uh, Gotenks. And we're starting off at 227k defense. So I mean, this guy's looking pretty good. I do think like you probably are in a much better space putting him in slot 2. Um, I mean, if you know there's not going to be a super coming, then obviously his defense is decent enough in slot 1. But the fact that he get the, gets the greatly raises on his uh, super attack is obviously going to be very, very beneficial for uh, the harder stages. And then, of course, the 70% chance to counter supers, which is the highest super counter chance. No other unit has a 70% chance to counter supers. So that is really, really good. And the only two events that are really that anyone even plays anymore that you can't dodge, or three, I guess, is this one is one of them. And then the other two are... Red Zone Broly and Red Zone Android 13. You can dodge at the beginning against 14 and 15, but you can't dodge against 13. And both of those bosses are AGL. Well, and this one as well, right? So all three of those bosses that you can't dodge, that are the only events really anyone cares about. Not that anyone really cares about the Vegeta event anymore. But the bosses that he can't dodge against, he has type advantage over. So it doesn't even really matter if he gets hit with the super, as long as he super attacks first. And then obviously he's going to be looking good. So let's go ahead and get all of these. We'll get a nice heal off of these because we've got decent defense here. So I'll go ahead and do this. And then we'll let the LR Super Saiyan 4s finish the job here. 
And then on the next turn, we will actually fuse the other Super Saiyan 4s. Their links don't change, so... That's the funny thing about the anniversary LRs, is a lot of the times you choose to fuse with these sort of units that stack. You'll choose to transform once you've reached a reasonable enough defense level. And then there are other units where you'll choose to fuse because of the way like their link set changes and stuff like that. But obviously the two anniversary LRs, their links don't change when they transform. So we're still rocking the same link set here. So we'll go ahead and do this. We can't get a super counter. I'm just really interested to see how much we tank for in slot one. And if we die, we die. Especially because Pandel probably just gets killed here. But So yeah, normal attacks, we take double digits. That's what I would expect. Um, okay, so we get to super first and raise our defense, which is good. So I wonder what we would take from the final flash here if we do actually take it in this second slot. Because we hit all the nodes but one. We've got, what, 6.37 on our attack stat here. So, I mean, Gogeta is looking pretty good. But he's, uh, I think his big problem, imagine, imagine if he had Saiyan Raw. Like on this rotation, or we saw that earlier turn where he got the additional and hit over like 8 million. Imagine if he had Saiyan Raw for another 25% attack on top of that. Like then, he would probably be like a must run on the team. I feel like at this point where we are in the anniversary now, part 2, where we don't have the easy A's for the standalone Super Saiyan 4s, I think you could probably say that he's like a must run on the team, right? Because at this point with his easy A, he's definitely putting out better numbers than the uneasy A Super Saiyan 4s. But I'm not too sure. Uh, Pandel actually tanking much better than I was expecting there. So, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think down below. Let's le end this off with another... Uh, oh, well. You know what? Let's end this off with one of the, my favorite animations in the game. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been The Masked Ningen. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one. It's just so good. <laughs>